And we're back to Divinity Original Sin 2. Johnny here. Welcome back. I think I have an idea on how to do this puzzle. And we're gonna talk about that in a second. But I saw a little guy here. So let's go talk to him. Or her. Looks like those black ring made a lethal enemy. You approach an undead, standing proud at the lip of a broken bridge. Understandably fearless of the fatal drop, she gazes into the lava sputtering below. Ah, it's a sheet. Turning to you, she motions to the black ring corpses at her feet. Good riddance to bad rubbish, eh? Only thing I like less than black ring are trolls. God woken, are you? Yes. I thought so. I see it on you like an aura. I see such things, for I am the Watcher. And I seek such things, for I am a Seeker. Are you one of Maester Siva's people? The Meister. Meister. She bats one's skeletal hand in a truly derisive fashion. Her crackling laugh sounds like dry leaves whirling in the wind on an autumn night. <laughs> the Meister's ragtag band are but a pale imitation of the tradition they sought to revive. I am one of the original Seekers. We swore to be Knights of the Council, Guardians of Godwoken, and Defenders of Divinity. Together, we failed. But still, I try. Alone. Unless... And the Knight of Duna has been cursed. Void runs through his veins where Source once flowed. I am sworn to protect the Council and all within it. But that same oath renders me unable to lift a blade against him. Release the knight's good spirit from his corrupted shell, Godwoken. Do this, and I will gift you with the last standard of the original Seekers. If you seek ascension, it could help you greatly in the trials along the way. Yeah, we've taken care of him already. Why, how marvelous. I knew your Godwoken spirit was strong. Please accept this with my thanks, and the thanks of all those I served alongside. The ble She hands you a small yet heavy trinket, crafted of tarnished metal. Though cold, it feels comforting to the touch, like a worry stone or a familiar childhood toy. Didn't mean to skip that bit of dialogue there, but... A decent uh, selection of items here. I think this might be the best one. Might be something something Sibyl would consider. I don't think we need this. So we'll grab this. The axe is no good for us anyways. There is another one ahead of you who I consider more fitting for ascension. But still, go in peace, God Woken. Oh gee, thanks I guess. Alright, so no information regarding the uh the temple ultimate augment or herb interesting we'll grab that a garic mushroom we'll grab that so my idea here is that these symbols are the moon and the sun and so i think what they want us to do is set the symbols corresponding to the affiliation of each god if I'm not mistaken, Relic is associated with the sun. We were just on, in his temple, basically. And then if I'm not mistaken, it's lizards, because they're like fire dudes. And orcs. So let's try that, see if there is any luck. Also grab this source here. Make sure to grab this as well. Might be some kind of book with instructions. Nope. Take it nonetheless. So I think that should be correct. Let's see uh, if it works. Grab that little source there. So what we have here is like a plate. Seems like we gotta put something on it. Which I don't know what that is yet. So, not working. 
But it's a different um, phrase from when these were originally set. So I assume the combination is correct, but we're actually just missing something here. May still be in working order. I just want to try one thing. Because we had like an antique or ancient stone tablet here. Let's see if that does anything. Nope. Alright. Nice. <clears throat> well, tell you what, let's keep exploring and we'll come back. It's probably something that we'll encounter down the line. Let's go back here and go across. I believe there were two paths to explore down here. Okay, I mean, if you want to go that way, I'm not going to judge you, but it doesn't seem the most efficient. Send you over. Port, everybody. Let's go. These guys are looted. We'll try the path to the north first. Uh, well, it's not north, but you, you get my meaning. Mother, you always taught me to do what I believed was right, and so I have. I have a greater freedom here than I've ever had, a greater hope in a hopeless world. One day, I hope you'll not forgive me, but join me. Okay, interesting. We'll see who that is regarding, hopefully. Oh, this is actually exactly where we came from? Oh, okay, 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 okay. So, we only have one path to explore. We've already chatted with this guy. Temple of Tears, Sendelius. Speak, God Wogan, but be sharp. How to become Time divine. Time quickly. Also, do you have anything to trade? You do not. Okay. That is not for a knight to say. Only the gods may guide you. Where can I Pray find Alexander? He and his circus have claimed the top level of my temple. And what are the Black Ring doing here? They have come to stop the ascension. They are doing all they can to kill the God Woken and defile our temples. But we will not be so easily cowed. Who is he? I am a knight of Ters and Delius. One of the last living knights on this island. Once I could stand with. I do not ascend. Okay, okay, interesting. Uh, you know what? Talk to the bear. The bear gives you a serious look. She opens her mouth wide, her great fangs on display for you. Then she clears her throat. Can I ask you a philosophical question? <laughs> you can try. Okay, then. If a tree falls in a forest, and the whole place is covered in death fog. Does anyone care? You can tell she was hurt, ask gently who hurt her. I escaped. Thousands didn't. They barely had the time to scream. She gives you a long, wet-eyed look. Her lip begins to tremble, which on a bear is an impressive sight. She tries not to cry. I thought no one cared. I thought no one cared but elves and bears. This gives me hope, this does. Lots of hope. Oh, thank you. With a sigh, she no turns problem. away. Useless. I want to use Ifan for these dialogues, just in case there's a persuasion check. Oh, actually, we, we have the persuasion check on the Red Prince. I keep forgetting. Priestess of Duna. The priestess is oblivious to you. Instead, she's locked in frantic, Whoa. desperate prayer. She... You got some goods, lady. You know what? Buy all of the resurrection scrolls. With all the money we have, there's really no reason to. And actually buy the freaking potions as well, man. Let's go all in here. Is there anything we are interested in? Pyroclastic eruption. Damn, that sounds nice. 
Multiple oil-filled rocks erupt from the caster at all enemies in the area. On impact, they create oil surfaces and deal about 500 earth damage. We will, uh, we will buy this. Fossil Strike, we already have all of these. Just checking in case there's something. Mortal Blow. Lots of damage. Damage is doubled if you are sneaking or invisible. Usually not the case, so it doesn't seem that powerful to be completely honest. Wind up toy. Summon a mechanical bomber at the target point. The bomber can explode, dealing fire damage and producing a fire surface. This is weird, man. Um, I mean, we'll, we'll get it, because it's kind of interesting, but... Doesn't seem that good. Terrifying Cruelty. Dagger attack that deals blah blah and sets bleeding and terrified on target. Resisted by physical armor, but pretty good still. And we're spending a lot of money here, so we might want to be a little bit cautious. Might as well offer our wares. That's what we're, we're gonna offer for now. We'll, we'll spend the money here. We got enough to, uh, to afford it. Oh, mighty Duna, save your children. Yeah, 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 blah, 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 blah. So, actually, Have that's you a quick... The temple of Zol Excuse me, sir, that's rude, I was... King's knight safe? Is Zol Stissa's chosen champion safe? Yes, temp the temple stands and all is well. Good news, at least for now. I thank you for your kindness. Shall we pray together? Uh, no. He lowers his head, closes his eyes. Not gonna pray, but thanks for the offer. I think what I am gonna do, though, is try to equip this piece of gear that we got for Sabil here. Seems super good. I mean, look at that armor rating improvement. Now, of course, she, she will lose some damage in the form of finesse, but dude, this is worth it in my book. So you set this as add to wares. And then this is pretty interesting. So, so this is what we got from the quest. Has a good armor rating, but also has a guardian angel skill. Let's equip it and see what it is. Allies in melee range redirect 50% of received damage to you. Dude, sign me up. Useless. Let's see if we have any cool runes. Critical chance rune is very good. Magic armor, maximum vitality is also positive, of course. Useless. Doesn't seem that good, though. We'll go with the crit chance. There you go, select. And I think we are set. I don't think we have anything else. We'll learn the, sp the, the spells later, that's fine. I don't think we can use any of them right now His anyways. Head, stays bowed. He's up. Yes. Um, talk to this guy. The elven priest prays serenely. Sensing your presence, he opens his eyes. A long look passes between you as he takes in your face and the color of your skin. So, the Red Prince is here. Interesting, if revolting. Oh, that's rude. Not every day one meets his annihilator. The very man who, in the darkest depths of his mind, formulated the plan to unleash death fog within the heart of the elven homeland. Well, that's That wasn't the Red Prince, was it? I thought that was Ifan. Denial? Pathetic. Yeah, you I don't have patience for you, my dude. The house of war. Away from me, dude. Yeah, kids. Do what you must, man. Hey there, hopeful. I belong to Tirson Dilius. To whom are you sworn? Uh, I will answer you in a second. First, let me browse through your stuff here. Glitter Dust. Target is marked, decreasing its ability to dodge, prevents target from going invisible. Seems good. Seems pretty good. We'll grab that. And assassinate, attack your target with meticulous aim uh, in one shot when performed from stealth this attacks this attack gains damage 
I don't think that's gonna be interesting from us or rather from our point of view I meant to say what is this challenge mark target enemy if they die in the next three turns you are healed and receive damage and armor bonus yes absolutely want that overpower if your physical armor is higher than your opponents destroy all their physical armor I mean seems good we'll buy it man we, we got the cash we got the cash for this um, guardian angel we already have so I think we're set here I don't think we're gonna be in the market for anything else we will buy your arrow shafts to make arrows and arrowheads and if you have any charming arrows there you go. okay enough business for one day spent quite a bit of money but I think it was well spent uh, let's go with the lizard line tell him you're sworn to Zorlstissa I'll tell you something about Zorlstissa she doesn't listen know how I know because my friend when I offered myself to her, she never answered. I was God-woken, and I failed her. But she too failed me. When she learned that I could not crush my own compassion, Zolstissa deserted me. She deserted all of us. I renounced her, and Tyrs and Dilius came to me. He soothed me with his gentle words, and I was whole once more. He could do the same for you, if you would have him when you fail. Well, you don't plan on failing, my friend. No one ever does. But so far... He takes yeah, a deep yeah, breath. Yeah. Not I was interested not in loser talk. to be divine. I could not earn entry to the Council's great academy. But I may serve those who may, if they serve Tyrson Dilius. How can I help you? Uh, ask what he may spare you for the fight ahead. If it may help you... I wish you well. You wanna sell me shit? Oh, I'm sad. Let's keep going here. This is incredible. What a structure. Lots of talking today. There might be nothing like this left in the world. Not since Lucian. The elf the prays hard. He's out soon. Tyrus and Delius will give us the power to smash the ring and all our enemies. Someone even more powerful than Tyrus and Delius will soon rise. Alexander does not rise. He closes his eyes once more and okay. Your words mean nothing to me, Alexander. Oh Protect shit, Alexander is no here. The cost. I am at the ready. I will have your head, seeker. Be at ease, Magister Rowe. Weapons down. Gareth, I have done you a grave injustice. I was deceived, and I was too weak, too naive to see it. Alexander holds his hands outwards towards Gareth, his blade resting flat across his palms. A gesture of goodwill and peace. Bellor and Alexander must explain himself. Whatever Alexander's reply might have been, it is drowned by Gareth's alarming chuckle. Godwoken, have you come to witness the death of the noble coward? How fortunate. You can tell the tale of Lucian's other wayward son. This slug defends his own cruelty on the basis of ignorance. He expects me to forgive him for everything he's taken from me. Every fallen seeker, every friend, every slain Godwoken. This, after I dedicated my life to serving his father's every whim and wile. I've forgotten nothing. Alexander, you are the sinner, yet the gods have allowed us to suffer for it. I would kill you a hundred times over if given the chance. Urge Gareth to calm. Alexander is not Damien. Gareth looks to you, then to Alexander. He digs his teeth into his lower lip until blood seeps out from the tender skin. The silence is thick, yet neither Gareth nor Alexander move. You are not Damien. You are not Damien. Damien, my sins have been as great as yours, Alexander. I've just been too blind to see them. It's just... your father. I hope you don't mind, I just quickly check your inventory, my friend, while... I don't want to break the tension here, but... 
Siphon Poison. Move poison surfaces and clouds, gain poison damage bonus to weapons attacks, blah blah. Doesn't seem that good, to be completely honest. You may proceed. You could forgive Alexander when I could not, Godwoken. I hope you show me the same kindness. I will meet you aboard the Lady Vengeance when you are ready. Oh. Sounds good. Whoever you are, I'll suggest you back away before... Stand down, Magister Rowe. This one is an old acquaintance, shall we say. Let him approach. Yeah, like you could stop I... me, bitch. Yes, my lord. It's this face bullshit they have. As you approach Alexander, Ifan catches you by the shoulder. You know how long I've sought Alexander. I need this. Um... Yeah, keep him alive. Understood. Ifan strides forwards and feints a punch at Alexander's nose with his right hand. As the Divine Bishop raises his hands to protect himself, Ifan grasps both of his wrists and headbutts him. As Alexander staggers back, blood streaming from his nose, Ifan tightens his grip on Alexander's wrists and spits a question. Why? Why did you and Lucian send me on a suicide mission to kill the elves? Why did you lie to me? Alexander wrenches his hands free from Ifan's grasp and holds his broken nose, blood streaming between his shaking fingers. Why? The same reason we did everything. To protect the realm. What price all of Rivalon against just one portion? Any divine would do the same if it meant saving everything. You should be proud my father picked you. His best right-hand man. He knew you would make it. But he also knew that if he told you the truth, you would falter. He knew you well, Ifan. He knew you'd have to be tricked. But I'm his son. I can be trusted to the end. And I will take any actions necessary for the good of all. Nothing can stop me. Not even death. Ifan draws his weapon. His hands are steady, calm, and controlled as can be. Just as he is about to move towards Alexander, he stops. He looks at you. And he shakes his head and looks away, striding with purpose towards Alexander. Death stops everyone eventually. You rose from the dead once. Stop. You won't rise this time. Stop. It was me following orders that led to this. And looking back on our time together, I see no reason to follow your orders. He turns back to Alexander and stabs him seven times. Ah, <sighs> fuck's when sake. When the deed is done, Alexander lies lifeless. Ifan stands trembling, his hands covered in the blood of the Divine's only son. God damn it, Ifan. What did I tell you? I told you specifically one thing, don't kill him. Ah. <sighs> God damn it. Magister Row, what are we looking at? Portamir, what are you? Hughes. Okay, I'm gonna go for the lady on the high ground if I can. Uh well might as well do this. Get an extra attack in there. Here we go. We're gonna do... I think the Sawtooth is one of the highest damage dealing options. Follow with a stun. And then this is the other, the other unit we want to focus, if possible. Sebio. Um, any high ground spots? You know what? This is a decent one, actually. Sure, Magister Row. That's not a good unit to focus, in all honesty. Not gonna be able to attack them, huh? Okay. Let's see if we can just quickly finish off this... Little flash sacrifice. Come 
X-Men Fang, give me the kill. Ah, real close. Glitter Dust. That's quite a bit of damage right there. Alright, we'll bring you up here. Throw an Encourage. And throw like a Whirlwind? Good deeps. Ignore the Paladin for now. He's not very mobile, he won't be able to do much. She's got lots of um, armor, so actually let's go for the Paladin here. I believe is the right play. We're gonna do Contamination. Dragon's Blaze. We did get damaged a little bit there, but that's completely fine as far as I can see. We'll go for a Fortify. And a Haste. They deal decent damage, I'm gonna be honest here. But it's not too bad. 2 AP to get behind this lady. It's not a bad deal, in all honesty. Also means... Yeah, we're not gonna be able to do much. Aside from just attacking her, though. Nice damage. Elemental arrowheads, huh? Okay. I mean, it is significant damage. We, we gotta start considering healing up on Sabeel. So there you go. The Paladin doesn't seem like the best option. I think you go for her. Not gonna be able to actually do much here. Yeah, I think Ballistic Shot is pretty good. And perhaps grab this poison damage for next turn. Still looking okay in terms of HP with everybody, I'd say. This should be a double, a two man stun. Looking at the values there. Not gonna be able to attack, but we can. Maybe use this to close in? Yeah, let's do it. Oh, okay. That's gonna hurt. Um, actually, why don't you sit yourself down, my dude? And get yourself over here, please. And if you can get lasered, get absolutely wrecked. This lady's a little desperate. Does get the taunt off. So at this point, I'd like to heal Sibyl here because. She's hurting a little bit. And I do think she needs help to deal with... ...with the woman here. So, tell you what... If you can, walk up there, please. If you can cripple her... Great stab at her. Um... Yeah. It is some damage. You knocked yourself down. Which is a little bit aggravating, in all honesty. Get crippled. And just generally destroyed. The Red Prince... 
He's kind of in a weird spot here, to be honest. I think you gotta climb up with him. And to be fair, I should have healed before I did that, but with all that smoke, chances are we wouldn't be able to do it anyways. Throw me a fire whip. Nice kill, man. Dude, the damage is real on the Red Prince. Alright, so what do you want to do here? I actually think you just want to attack. You go like Sawtooth and a regular attack. Crazy damage. Yeah, getting marked is nothing, man. Significant damage coming out, but we're quite tanky at this point. Feeling pretty good about that. Um, Having a hard time seeing the... Oh, we actually killed the other one. Okay. It's nice. And then, I mean, the Red Prince is in a, is in a weird spot because it's going to be hard to hit only that guy. Looks like we did manage to do it, though. Good enough. And if we can finish you off... Go for a flurry, this is the kill right here. Very nice. Alright, well, thanks for that, it's fun. Alexander knew. Lucian knew. I was nothing but a pawn. His face darkens and his hands shake. You know this world is better off without Alexander. How could you try to stop me? Before you can say anything, he strides away, shaking his head in disgust. Well, I mean, the, the guy could be useful to us. Like, killing him doesn't really net us any benefit. Ooh! Nice! Dude! God damn! That looks really good. Okay, we'll grab all of this and check it out. So we're going to leave the episode here. I think it was a pretty good one. If you enjoyed it, let me know down below. Leave a like and subscribe for new videos every day. And as always, thanks for watching. Catch you next time.